a season ago, an injury to Tony Romo paved the way for the Dak Prescott era to begin in Dallas. Hey, they busted that now, though. Yeah, they had They were to. on the wrong side of the blitz. They had to. You're not going to see that look again. They'll be coming from the strong side next time. On Sunday, Romo returned to Dallas as a broadcaster. And it was Prescott's turn to offer some analysis. Yeah, I mean, the games I've seen, he's he's been great. Uh, brings a lot of excitement, has this this voice, this high-pitched voice when, when big plays that gets everyone going. And it's, I mean, it's exciting. It's... Uh, you kind of, I'd say from home, you, you can kind of put yourself in the game. No longer on the sideline, Romo is now paid to analyze his successor. They're going to give a play action and watch the safety at the middle. He runs and doubles Dez. And Dak looks left and has the patience and poise to come back to Beasley over the middle. What is it? His actually touchdown interception ratio is better than anybody who's ever played in the first two years. And really, it's outstanding to be that mature for that young. Facing a third and 15 with 90 seconds left in the first half, the Cowboys relied on the arm and legs of their mature second year pro for the game's turning point. The third and long coming up for the Cowboys, the Chiefs. Might have a chance to give Alex Smith and company a little something to do before halftime. And then Coach Garrett's going to tell you right there, hey, just hand this off. Or he's going to say, hey, let's be aggressive right here. We, I went to the sideline. They what called the timeout, and we had talked about run the pass. We run the ball. We make them waste the timeout, and then we'll punt it. We'll play that whole game. Or, hey, let's go get the first down and put the pressure on them. We knew we needed to score right there. We knew that that's the spark that we needed to go uh, win this game. We had a score in that two minutes. So much for dumping it down. How about that? 15. 15. Yeah. And he got 21. And now Dak throws it wide open. And turn of events just looked like the Chiefs might get the ball back somewhere around midfield Cowboys complete a third and 15 and the next play they go for 56 to Williams straight cover two get caught looking into the backfield boy he's a, he's a strong kid when he can run like this it makes it for a lot with this offensive line one of the things I don't think oftentimes we include is just some of these critical third downs his ability to run it and create plays outside the pocket. You can see his confidence just soaring right now. It's an empty gun, third and goal. From the 10, snap to Prescott. Running out right, he can run, he stumbles, he gets up. He's a really good football player. He plays well seemingly every week, and uh, he's someone who can beat you a lot of different ways. And uh, he makes plays in the pocket, he makes plays out of the pocket, he makes plays with his feet. And uh, again, he did that uh, all throughout this ball game. He did that at the critical moments in the game. Double team on Beasley and a double team on Witt. Watch these safeties right here. They're going to double them. And because of that, there's no one on the right side of the field. Outstanding drive right there. That was. Momentum changing, game changing. He's a baller. I got the best opportunity, you know, to get to see him perform each and every day in practice. You know, there's nothing Dak can't handle. You know, the guy's great. After two Chiefs touchdowns put the Cowboys in a hole, Dak's mobility helped Dallas seal the game. The quarterback's job as the leader of the offense is to lead that response. And he did that. He did that with his, uh, with his poise, with his demeanor, and with his execution. Prescott keeps it. There he's got Quinton out in front blocking. In each of the big wins here the last few weeks in this three-game winning streak, it's different attacks. I think that's a compliment to Dak, just getting us in the right look and, and then us, us executing. This is why they're so good in the red zone now. They have a mobile quarterback. 
and they can do a lot of different things. Since taking over for Romo, Prescott leads the NFL in wins and has accounted for 49 touchdowns in 24 games. Dak has broken the pocket, created big plays, and it's changed the momentum of the game at those moments.